The most important solanaceous vegetables include tomato botanically known as Lycopersicon esculentum, brinjal botanically known as Solanum melongena and chili botanically known as capsicum annuum. Among these three vegetables, tomato is one of the widely grown vegetables in the world ranking second to potato in many countries. Also tomato is a rich source of vitamin C and adds variety of colors and flavors to food. Brinjal is also a popular vegetable crop cultivated extensively almost in all parts of India all the year round except in higher altitudes. Whereas chili is grown throughout the tropics and it is used as a major ingredient of curry powder in culinary preparation. Flower structures of the crops in tomato, the inflorescence may arise terminally opposite or between the leaves. The individual flower is about 3 quarters of an inch in diameter with 5 to 10 part green calyx that clings to the fruit until it matures. The stigma is receptive to its own or other pollen one or two days before anther dehiscence. The stigma remains receptive for 4 to 8 days. Anthesis starts at 6.30 am and it continues up to 11 am. The stamen sheds its pollen when the style grows up through the anther tube, thus self-pollination occurs. The optimum temperature required for pollination is around 21 degrees centigrade. In brinjal, the 1.5 to 2 inch violet flowers are in 2 or 3 flowered cymes. They may be perfect or hermaphrodite. They develop opposite or near opposite instead of in the leaf axils as in most plants. The flowers remain open 2 to 3 days without closing in the night. Anthesis starts at 6 am and it continues up to 8 am with maximum at 6.30 am. Anthers dehyse usually 15 to 20 minutes after the flower buds had opened. The stigma is receptive from 2 days before anthesis and it continues 4 days after anthesis. The pollen grains remain viable from the day of anthesis to 10 days at average temperature of 24.6 degrees centigrade and relative humidity of 82 percentage. 4 types of flowers depending upon the length of styles that is heterostyly namely long styled with big sized ovary medium sized with medium sized ovary pseudo short styled with rudimentary ovary and true short styled with very rudimentary ovary long and medium styled flowers produce fruits whereas pseudo short and true short styled flowers do not set any fruit However, chances for cross-pollination are more in long-styled flowers. Chili flower is usually solitary in the axils of the branches or leaves, but occasionally there are small clusters of flowers. Flowers open in the morning between 5 am to 6 am. Anthers dehyse between 8 am and 11 am. Flower opening and anther dehiscence depend on the weather conditions to a large extent. During cool as well as cloudy days, the flower opening is delayed. Pollens are fertile on the day of anthesis and the stigma is receptive for about 24 hours after flower opening. Climate and Soil Tomato is a warm season crop. It does not perform well at temperature of 35 degrees centigrade and above as well as below 15 degrees centigrade. The temperature between 20 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade is ideal for the crop 
to exhibit its maximum potential. Tomato grows particularly in all soils from light sandy to heavy clay. Light soils are preferred for an early crop while clay loam and silt loam soils are well suited for heavy yields. Brinjal is a warm season plant and requires a long warm season during growth and fruit maturation. The optimum growing temperature is 22 to 30 degrees centigrade and the growth stops at temperatures below 17 degrees centigrade. Brinjal can be grown but practically in all soils from light sandy to heavy clay. Light soils are good for an early crop while clay loam and silt loam are well suited for high yield. The soil should be fragile and well drained. Chile prefers a warm humid climate during early stages and a dry weather towards the maturity of pods. It is grown in both tropical and subtropical areas up to 2000 meter above mean sea level. A temperature ranging from 20 to 25 degrees centigrade is ideal for chili seed production. Fruit development is adversely affected at temperature of 38 degrees centigrade or more. A sandy loam soil is highly suited for chili seed production. Now let us see the requirements of land and isolation. The land in which the crops are grown for seed production must be free from objectionable weeds and free of seeds or plant remains of the seed crops and related crops. The proper isolation distance has to be maintained for production of genetically pure seeds. The isolation distance for foundation and certified seeds are for tomato, 50 meter isolation distance is required for foundation seed production and 25 meter for certified seed production. For brinjal, the isolation distances for foundation and certified seed production are 200 meters and 100 meters respectively. For chili, the isolation distance for foundation seed is 400 meters and for certified seed, the isolation distance is 200 meters sowing season and seed rate. First in tomato, it can for brinjal as it is also suitable for all the seasons, the ideal season for seed production is June to October that is Karif season. Sowing of the seed crop should be adjusted in such a way that maturity does not coincide with heavy rains. The winter crop needs specific protection from frost. Chili. Chili can also be grown throughout the year in southern plains and during June to July and February to March in North India for quality seed production. Now coming to seed rate. For tomato, the seed rate required is 350 grams per hectare. For brinjal, the seed rate required is 400 grams per hectare and for chili, the seed rate is 1 kg per hectare. Pre-sowing seed management, nutrient pelleting of seeds for tomato cultivar PKM1 with zinc sulphate at the rate of 300 mg per kg using maida powder 10% as adhesive at the rate of 200 ml per kg and leaf powder of albizia amara as filler material at the rate of 200 grams per kg enhance the field emergence by 14 percentage and the seed yield will also be increased. These pelleted seeds can be stored up to 3 months with 75 percentage of germination. The seeds can also be bio primed with either bio fertilizers or bio control agents as emerging pre sowing seed enhancement technique for production of quality and healthy seedlings. The biopriming seed treatments can be carried out with biocontrol agents like Pseudomonas fluorescence in talc formulation, nursery sowing and seedling production. The field marked for raising nursery should be highly porous and fertile. The soil should be mixed well 
with equal quantity of well decomposed farmyard manure, raised beds of 60 to 70 centimeter width and of convenient length are to be prepared and the seeds are sown in lines and are covered with sand. About 4 cents of nursery area will be required to plant 1 hectare of land. Healthy and vigorous seedlings that have produced 5 leaves should be used for planting in the main field and that will give a good establishment and it will be having uniform stand in the field. The optimum age of seedlings for transplanting tomato is 25 to 30 days, for brinjal it is 30 to 35 days and for chili it is 35 to 40 days. Main field preparation for all the crops the field chosen for seed crop should not be grown with any variety or species of brinjal, chili or tomato as a previous crop. The field should be ploughed 3 to 4 times to get a fine tilt and formed ridges and furrows depending upon the variety for cultivation. Gap filling should be attended within a week of planting to maintain the desired population. The spacing required will also vary depending upon the crop. The planting distance will be varying with the fertility status of soil, growing season and the cultivar. Irrigation Tomato needs a very careful irrigation which should be sufficient at right time. Excessive irrigation is harmful, so also insufficient irrigation. The fruit quality will be affected by moisture supply. Flooding is also harmful for tomato crop. For brinjal and chilli, irrigation is given based on the local need. Insufficient watering leads to leaf shedding and flower dropping due to abscission. Irrigation is given once in 6 to 7 days during summer and once in 10 to 14 days during winter. Weed control is also an essential practice in seed production. Hand hoeing and weeding is followed as and when needed to keep the seed crop free from weeds. Pre-emergence application of herbicide is recommended for reduction of weed problem in brinjal fields. The objectionable weed of brinjal is Argimon mexicana. Roguing The volunteer plants and off types should be removed during pre-flowering, flowering, post-flowering post -flowering, and harvest stages based on the stature, height of the plant, shape of leaves, color of flowers, stem pigmentation, size, shape and color of fruits to ensure field standards. The plants affected by tobacco mosaic virus in tomato, formopsis blight and little leaf in brinjal and leaf blight in chilli should also be removed. While coming to harvest, once over harvest is not possible in vegetables. For seed extraction, the fruit should be harvested from 6 to 7 pickings excluding first and last one or two harvest. In tomato, the fruits attain red colored has to be harvested. In case of brinjal, fruits turn to yellow color are to be harvested. Chilli pods turn to red color are to be harvested for seed extraction. Fruit grading Harvested fruits are to be graded and medium to large sized fruits should be used for seed extraction. During fruit grading, Fruits which are not conforming to the genetic purity and diseased or pest infested fruits have to be rejected or discarded. Seed extraction Seed separation from fruit is a specialized job. A slight negligence while extracting the seed can considerably damage its viability and vigor besides physical appearance. The in situ germination can also occur due to improper extraction technique. The seeds can be separated mostly three methods like wet extraction, dye extraction and extraction by mechanical means are carried out. First let us see the wet method which includes fermentation method and acid method. In fermentation method, 
The fruits are crushed in a non-metallic container and kept as such for fermentation for 2 to 3 days. It has been observed that 2 days fermentation of fruits is the best for getting quality seeds. During fermentation, the seeds get detached from the adhering pulp and settle at the bottom of the container. The seeds are separated, washed thoroughly and dried under shade to the desired moisture level. The seed recovery is less when compared to other methods of extraction. The seeds become dull colored due to the fermentation of the pulp and also due to fungal load in the seeds. In situ germination may also occur due to long period of fermentation. Next coming to acid method. In this method, the fully ripened matured fruits are harvested and crushed to pulp. The pulp is taken in plastic containers or wooden containers or cement tubs of convenient size and the commercial hydrochloric acid is added at the rate of 25 ml per kg of fruit pulp. The acid and the pulp are mixed thoroughly and kept for 30 minutes. During this period, corrosiveness of the acid removes the mucilage adhering to the seed and makes the seed free of pulp. Then the seeds are washed 4 to 5 times thoroughly with water to make free of acid. Next comes the dry method of extraction. Usually dry method is carried out for seed extraction in chilies. In this the chili pots are initially dried under shade for 1 or 2 days and then dried under open for 2 to 3 days. Then the seeds are extracted by beating with pliable bamboo sticks. The third method is mechanical method. The tomato, brinjal and chilli seed extractor machines which are developed by Tamil Nadu Agricultural University can be used for effective and quality seed extraction. After the seeds are extracted, the next step to be followed is drying and cleaning. Tomato and brinjal seeds are to be dried under shade with proper aeration for 2 to 3 days and then dried in open sunlight for another 2 to 3 days to reduce the moisture content to 7 to 8 percentage. Drying the seed on cement floor should be avoided. Drying the seeds using perforated screen bottom sieves is the best method of drying. Spreading gunny bag or cloth bag on the floor and keeping the seeds can also be followed for safe drying. Improper drying leads to clogging of seeds in the top layer which prevents proper drying of seeds. Frequent stirring is done to prevent clogging and to get uniform drying. Chilli seeds can be sun dried for 1 to 2 days to reduce the moisture content to safe level of 8%. After drying, seed grading has to be carried out. The cleaned and dried seeds are to be graded with the recommended sieves to get quality seeds. For tomato and brinjal, the recommended sieve size is 10 by 10 BSS wire mesh sieves. For chili, the recommended sieve size is 8 by 8 BSS wire mesh sieve. BSS means British Standard Sieve. After the seeds are graded, the seeds have to be treated and then carried out for storage. The graded seeds with a moisture content of 8% are to be treated with carbendazim at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seeds and stored in cloth bag. For moisture proof containers, the moisture content should be 6%. The seed viability can be maintained up to 25 to 30 months in moisture vapor proof containers. At ambient temperature, the seeds are stored in paper or cloth bags and the viability can be maintained for 10 to 12 months. Hybrid seed production technique. The tool which is used for hybrid seed production is emasculation and dusting. To prevent self pollination, the stamens from the flower buds of the female line should be removed before they shed pollen grains. This process is called emasculation. The emasculation can be done previous day evening of the crossing program. Pollen collection. 
the flowers have to be collected from the male parent to extract pollen grains the best time for pollen is during early morning before the pollen has shed pollen collection should be avoided during rainy days fresh pollen is best for good fruit set it can be kept for one day at moderate room temperature when the weather conditions are not suitable for pollination dried or dehydrated pollen can be stored in a cooled container and kept in the freezer for about a month without freezing the pollen can be kept in ordinary refrigerator for 2 to 3 days without any significant loss in viability pollination or dusting the emasculated flowers are generally pollinated on the next day pollination should be avoided during rainy days the stigma is exposed to facilitate pollination the stigma is dipped into the pollen or by touching the stigma with the tip of index finger dipped in pollen pool pollination is done for 3 to 5 weeks period after breeding operations are completed any non cross flowers on the female plant are to be removed to prevent the chance of contamination from self to seeds before harvest bud pollination in brinjal the stigma becomes receptive a day prior to anthesis hence bud pollination is possible emasculation and pollination are done in the morning hours when fresh pollens are used for pollination then the flowers are to be tagged and bagged with butter paper covers the covers are to be removed one week later after ensuring proper fruit set use of male sterility male sterility lines can also be used for hybrid seed production in tomato and chili in brinjal functional male sterile lines have to be identified in some cultivars but not yet been done in commercial hybrid seed production dear students so far in this class we saw about the hybrid seed production techniques in tomato brinjal and chili which are the most essential crop which we use in our day to day life 